and Deputy President William Ruto has in recent days intensified campaigns against a likely referendum in the aftermath of his boss, President Uru Kenyatta's cooperation deal with the position chief, Raila Odinga. But is a referendum debate isolating Ruto and his allies? And is there an imminent fallout in Jubilee over the referendum debate? Our political affairs reporter, Moremi Mwangi, now interrogates. As moon has converged at Malava in Kakamega County on the 14th of June 2016 to lay to rest late cabinet minister Soita Shitanda, Deputy President William Ruto hinted at what would be his 2022 strategy to State House. <laughs> But only five months into President Uhuru Kenyatta's second term, Ruto's camp, it appears, is already an anxious lot, with key Ruto allies now tensed by Kenyatta's silence on the ongoing referendum debate to slash presidential powers for an executive prime minister and two deputies in the aftermath of Kenyatta's March 9th ceasefire handshake with opposition chief Raila Odinga. <laughs> Ruto amechanganyikiwa ni vile tu hawezi sema. Kwa hivyo chama lazima ikutane haraka na waseme eh, waseme mwelekeo wetu ni huyu. I'm watching them go around the country campaigning for 2022 for the deputy president and I'm asking myself how have we reached to the point where we are willing to disrespect the president to this extent? The president just got elected less than six months ago. But while Kenyatta appears to have reserved his energies to actualizing his legacy term, hinged on four pillars of universal health care, industrialization, affordable housing, and food security, the president has been caught in a dilemma as key Jubilee leaders, including his own cabinet secretaries, continue defying his directive to desist from talk of 2022 politics. Ruto's camp seemingly apprehensive of the likely political implications of the Kenyatta Odinga deal, which insiders say appears to have introduced a third center of power to the Jubilee succession matrix, isolating Ruto who could emerge as a lone ranger should Kenyatta eventually throw his weight behind the Odinga-led referendum push. But again, you know 2022 is very far. Even if you had hold a referendum this year or next year, there will still be a long way. 2022 and there will be other realignments along the way so that again could change but again it will depend what kind of amendments are we talking about referendum is not an option as, as i always insisted it is not an option you know why because if you bring referendum we'll take another two years campaigning for or against constitutional amendments which means it will take a lot of time to to implement the big four ruto has recently severally been to western kenya his key allies seemingly capitalizing on a perceived grudge between Odinga and his coalition partners Musali Mudevadi and Moses Wetangula, who are still coming to terms with Odinga's decision to sidestep them in the March 9th deal with Kenyatta. Pandits argue Ruto could be rooting for a likely 2022 deal with a joint wetangula Musalia alliance as a climax to the ongoing Western Kenya push for ANC Fort Kenya merger. This, analysts argue, could be Ruto's plan B in event of an extreme or partial fallout with Kenyatta's Mount Kenya backyard. Murumi Mwangi, KTN News.